The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever. A priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in the day of his great wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The angel of the Lord brought God's message to Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. For this we revere you. My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord. Because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him, everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him, everything continues in being. It is he who is the head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the first born of the dead. So that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I am the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me as you have said. A reading from the first letter of John. This is what we proclaim to you, what was from the beginning, what we have heard, what we have seen with our eyes, what we have looked upon 
and our hands have touched, we speak of the word of life. This life became visible. We have seen and bear witness to it. And we proclaim to you that eternal life that was present to the Father and became visible to us. The Word was made man and he lived among us. He was in the beginning with God. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The angel Gabriel said to Mary in greeting, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The angel Gabriel said to Mary in greeting, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. On this day, the Eternal Father sent his angel to bring Mary the good news of our salvation. Let us turn to God and pray with confidence. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. 
You chose the Virgin Mary as the mother of your son. Have mercy on all who look for your gift of salvation. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. You sent Gabriel to give Mary your message of peace and joy. Give to the whole world the joy of salvation and your gift of true peace. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Mary gave her consent. The Holy Spirit overshadowed her, and your word came to dwell among us. Touch our hearts, that we may welcome Christ as Mary did. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. You look with love on the humble and fill the hungry with your gifts. Raise up the downcast. Help all in need. Comfort and strengthen the sick and the dying. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Lord our God, you alone work wonders, and with you all things are possible. Give us the fullness of salvation when you raise up the dead on the last day. Lord, fill our hearts with your love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Father, your word became man and was born of the Virgin Mary. May we become more like Jesus Christ, whom we acknowledge as our Redeemer, God and man. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>